welcome to today's vlog. I will be doing something, hopefully, that will be the first of something I'll do annually, and that is a 2022 recap or a yearly recap. So I'm gonna hop right into it, but before we do that, don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on post notifications, give this video a big thumbs up, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, and let's hop right into it. So in January and February, I don't really have anything that we did at least in my camera roll that we did that was like super worth mentioning so i'm gonna start in march march noah turned three and obviously that's very exciting so crazy that he's uh getting so old and he's close to four now which is ridiculous um in march i had my first wholesale customer for my shop which was very exciting and my stickers and some of my cards are in a small business here in hawaii on oahu so that's very, that was so, so exciting. And then in March, I also had two like micro viral TikToks, which sounds like a disease or something, but I had two of my videos go like mini viral. Um, one was like 36,000. Um, and then that one also went viral on Pinterest. And then the other one was only like 12,000, but that was, the 12,000 one was a sales map one so i got so many i got so many orders overnight from that one so that was really exciting april was noah's first hair trim so it was like a trim people didn't even notice it but i kept the hair from it and it was exciting to me <laughs> and then june on is when things kind of really got crazy and there was a lot so i'm gonna just speed through these and yeah so in june um it was Noah's first time at the water park, which was really exciting. We went with some of our friends. And it was also my Ajumura side family's first annual picnic. We were going through a lot at the time with the family. So I wanted to coordinate like a picnic where we could kind of just chill, relax, but also spend family time together. So that will be the first of hopefully many, many family picnics. And then also in June, unfortunately, Tommy's grandmother passed away very, very suddenly. So that was... That was difficult so things were difficult on both sides of the family at that time and then for a few more months after that so then in july we had his grandmother's funeral and then um it was my birthday noah got vaccinated finally he was um eligible and then he was about to start preschool so we're like yeah let's get him vaccinated before preschool starts and then in august Noah started preschool, I started my new job, but those things did get pushed back because we caught COVID from, unfortunately, a funeral. Not the grandma's funeral, but a different funeral that we had gone to in July. Um, my whole family caught COVID, it was so crazy, but, you know, thankfully we were vaccinated and it was not nearly as bad as it could have been. And then, I started work, like I said, and then I started, I did my training in August to become an RBT, which I am now, and that training was quite brutal. The 40-hour video training, if you know, you know, that was rough, and then I also had to do the video training while having, like, chronic migraines, which was like a post-COVID symptom that, thank God, has come and gone, so thank goodness for that. That was August, and then in August, unfortunately my grandma died in august so we had lots of death like june july august and that was really that was so difficult um it was crazy and then we went to the blue angels air show and that was i literally wrote blue angels hell because that day sucked so badly because it was fucking hot it was so loud. Noah hated how loud the jets were. And I've never been to one of those, so I didn't know what to expect. I saw other people with like the headphone thing or the head ear blocker or whatever for their kids. And then it's so sad because there were literal babies there without anything over their ears. Like at least for Noah, he could tell us that he didn't like it. So we were like holding his ears closed. But those babies were just exposed to that sound, which cannot be good for their eardrums. Um, and then, when we were leaving, the military base did not plan their fucking exit very well. So we were stuck on the military base in the parking lot for three hours. And I ended up getting a migraine. That was literally hell on fucking earth. We are never doing that again. Moving on to September. 
Um, I got my new tattoos. So I got my Ajibura tattoo here. It's in the handwriting of my grandmother. And then I got the long story short, I survived tattoo on my arm. I went to my classmate Elijah for that. Um, unfortunately, there were more health issues with my family on the other side. So my grandma that passed was my dad's side. We had health issues on my mom's side of the family. It just was a lot and it was a lot of stress. Um, but then those grandparents, they moved to Milani and they live right across from me. So that's kind of nice right now. Um, and I got my new film camera. So that's been fun. I've been dabbling with that. If you saw my video yesterday, I think, then you would have heard that I want to focus a little bit more on photography in the new year. So very excited about that. October, a few of my family members came home, which was exciting. My cousin Ariel and then my brothers. But it was just sad because they came home from my grandma's funeral. So in August, it was nice because I saw family, but then sad because it was my grandma's funeral. Um, and then October 21st, Midnight's came out, Taylor Swift's new album. My cousin Ariel came over, we had a listening party and it was so much fun. I'm obsessed, I'm still listening to that album. There were only like, maybe like eight or 10 days from when the album came out to when Spotify stopped their data collecting for the Spotify wrapped and somehow like two or three of the songs from Midnight's ended up on my Spotify wrapped which means I listened to them a crazy amount in just like eight or ten days so in October we chopped Noah's hair so it was like a little bob and it's so cute because it's growing out a little bit and I like the length that it's grown out too so I don't think I'm ever going to chop it like at that same place again but I love it right now it's so freaking cute um, October, the end of it was Halloween, and that was really fun because we had a spirit week at work. So I kind of was like different things every day. And then Noah had a couple different Halloween activities with school. And then obviously we went trick or treating, which was really fun. So that kind of like relifted the spirit of October. And then November, I started making my kimchi cucumbers, and it is a hit. I have orders for my family. They, and it's fun because they, they, I give them and then they return the container that was like the previous order and then we just keep on like recycling the containers so they can get more cucumbers and the containers get bigger and bigger every time. <laughs> so actually I'm going to do that again today as well. And then the end of November I made Thanksgiving dinner for my in-laws um and then i did the turkey and gravy for my family which is really fun i love making thanksgiving dinner i don't know what about it it just i mean it's fucking exhausting because i'm on my feet all day and i'm stressed but <laughs> it's on like i don't know i don't know why i love it i really do and then finally december we're only in the beginning of of December so I can't really say like what's gonna happen but I can say that we have a lot of family gatherings uh, planned and what's nice is that my family is gathering like with my cousins and stuff for the first time since um, COVID so that's nice we've been keeping it like really chill and low-key for the past few years but it's nice that we're finally like getting to get together um, so we're doing that and planning games for it and I'm excited and then we're also going on a family trip out of the country So I'm excited to take Noah to see snow. I've never seen snow So I'm excited to take my fucking self to see snow, but it's gonna be so much fun I will be documenting a lot of it, you know via vlogmas. So Yeah, that is the 2022 recap I would like to do a 2022 lessons learned because there were a few lessons learned this year what you know from relationships to the losing of our grandmas like there's just a lot so I would love to do a lessons I've learned in 2022 that's gonna be it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe down below turn on post notifications give this video a big thumbs up I will see you in tomorrow's video and yeah love you bye